This little video is about how I built a nice living room sofa out of uh, fence wood. And the reason I did it too. Now what am I doing out here in this, uh, this little uh, sun deck is this is where I built it. Right there on the floor is where it was done. And let me show you some more things about this. Now this couch right here is the reason I built it. This one used to be in our living room and it was moved out here uh, later on after I got the couch built. Now it wasn't this bad looking before but I got tired of uh, buying couches like this solid leather and you know all that stuff and then in just three or four or five years maybe the cushions started getting to where you'd sit down and sink right in and uh, it's just I got fed up with it so I thought well let's build I'm gonna build one because I got tired of, tired of messing with this stuff. So this is where I built it, and as you can see, it's now a garden, and I use that uh, table under there to uh, as a workbench for most of the time. Now the reason I'm showing you where I built this is because I just want to impress upon you that you don't need a fancy workshop to get something nicely built. This is this is what I had. This is there's no workshop here. I had some simple tools and uh, go to the store and get some uh, lumber and uh, you out of that and you know buy some glue and and uh, shellac and varnish and and polyurethane and things like sandpaper and things like that you'd be surprised at what you can get done. So let me get on with this and uh, show you what I did with basically no decent place to do it. This is a uh, couch and uh, chair set over there that uh, we have. We've had it, uh, I think, since my wife and I got married. It was a wedding gift. So I was going to use this as a kind of a model, just generally the size and so forth, to build another couch. So this is where I started. So the first thing I did was I took out a pencil and some paper and I did some sketches on how I wanted this thing to look or what the idea I had for building this thing. But once the drawings were done it was time to start building something so I built the first frame the basically the bottom of the couch. Now this was uh, glued and screwed together and as you can see what it is is it's made out of 2 by 4s and these were rough cedar 2 by 4s that I just took off the rack at Home Depot and these look pretty smooth and they were smoothed out with a hand plane that I used uh, putting it on that table up there and planing it down until it was nice and smooth. When you buy these see the edges are quite rough you can see this one even has some staples in it and uh, what you have to do is get them trued up and smoothed, smoothed out. This one here has been planed down mostly. It's not all done yet. I'm doing this one-handed, so but you see the chips coming up. And what that's doing is shaving off a very, very thin piece of wood and getting down to the good wood here eventually. What I've got on the table is uh, three cedar 2x4s that I've smoothed up a little bit and they're glue laminated together. These are going to be uh, cut in half, so there are two four-foot pieces, and then cut, uh, custom cut to make the back legs. Okay, what we have here is one of those glue laminated uh, sections that we've uh, glued up and let set and dry. Uh, traced out the outline of that uh, back leg and, and backrest section on here. And what I'm going to do is cut it out on the table saw here. This is going to be rough cut and then it'll be smoothed down uh, later on. Okay, now after cutting them out on the saw, the table saw, there's two of them. And these are going to be, again, the back leg and the back rest of the couch. Okay, now here's a picture of one of those legs I just cut out attached to that rectangular flame frame that used to be sitting on the floor there. And it's also got the other two legs. I'll show you some detail on that. As you can see, they're uh, uh, laminated pieces of cedar that I've uh, laminated together with glue, glued them up, and set them in. Now we'll go in here a little closer, and you can see that, uh, now this has to be sanded yet, but you can see the front uh, part of the frame, it doesn't extend through the last lamination, 
but it does extend through the the middle one and the inner one. So these were uh, actually put on after uh, the frame was set up and um, and uh, laminated to the outer frame. This one right here. Now let's go around the other side so you can see what I mean. As you can see here, see the frame goes through there, and that's just kind of an effect that I thought would be kind of neat. Now right now I'm working on the back frame, the, the back legs I'm, I mean. And as you can see the frame is set at about a little bit of an angle and the, the angle is there by that uh, bucket and board there. So it's about a half inch slope to the back. Let me back away so you can see that. And that's going to be the back leg and the back rest. Now there's the inside as you can see. It's going to be done the same way this one was done. And I've got three more pieces to put in place right here. Here's one that's all glued together, four pieces, sitting here, uh, setting up right now. I've just glued that one together. And out of that, we're going to cut two more back leg and backrest uh, pieces as soon as that sets up. As you can see over here, we've glue laminated up one of the posts, as you can see right there. And all those clamps are all be, all uh, holding it together. There's glue in between. And if you go around here, you can see the little slot that was cut. See, that's the slot that was cut in there to go around to have that backboard go in. And, uh, and this is all glued in. Now this one over here hasn't been glued in yet. So I can kind of show you the pieces. See, here's the outside piece that you've seen before. That one is already attached to the frame. This is the middle piece. It's shorter because it's going to be resting on the frame down there like that. And alongside there. And the outside, this inside piece goes all the way to the floor. As you can see, it's already got a slot cut there through the bottom. And what we're going to do is smooth up the insides of these so they're flat. This one's already pretty good. This one, these are still rough as you can see. So I've got to plane those down, get them all smooth, and then put these all together and then laminate these together just like uh, this one over here is laminated. Okay, we've glued up the, uh, the leg and backrest, <laughs> the back side. We've glued them up and uh, unclamped un uh, them. And then we've gone over here and now we've done uh, this side. It is glued and it's clamped and uh, setting up right now. Now while I got this one got in, I can put the, uh, the backrest board in. As you can see that backrest board along there is been installed now. And uh, it's been clamped and glued in place right here as you can see. So as you can see on the other side it's clamped and glued in place as well. Going all the length down there. Now I got kind of concerned as you can see right here there's not a lot of uh, space between the top of this backboard here and the uh, top here. I was concerned that if I planed this off too much there wouldn't be very much of this left. So and the reason I got concerned about that is because you can see the line here on this one is low enough. It's lower than these right here, so you'd kind of want to you'd think you'd have to plane that down on these. So what I did was see these little blocks. I glued those on there, uh, planed them up, and glued them on there. And I'm going to shape these and just see how these blend in with the rest of the wood. See if it looks fine. It it might look just fine. And this little piece right here, as you can see this line right, right along this line, that actually chipped off when I was uh, planing it the other day. So I glued that back on. And now the question is, is when you smooth this all out, will it look okay? So we're going to try that and see. The other thing that we did was, as you can see, all these uh, backboards are in now. The two on the end are cut to the right size. You can see they kind of recess back in there. And the others in the middle are just rough cut now, just to get a size. You can see they're all different sizes going across the top. But what we're going to do now is, is cut them exactly the right size. 
put a bevel in the bottom of these so that they uh, meet that rail just right. Cut a groove in these so that they go in this slot just right. And then uh, plane them down, smooth them down, and install them. And we'll see how that looks. What we've done here is we've got all of the backrest posts all installed here. And what I've got here, these have been sanded down. And what I've got here is I've put some of this special putty that I've mixed up on here. And it's just about dry now. And we're going to sand it off. And what that should do is fill in all the little tiny cracks that we might have. You can see right here, here's a couple of joints. See, this is one I did before that had a big crack in it. And as you can see, once it's dried and all sanded down, that looks pretty good. You can barely see it. It doesn't look bad at all. So these have all been sanded flush now. Everything is sanded flush on the front. Did that with the power sander. And then I'm going back here now and uh, filling in all the little holes and all the little cracks and things like that with uh, a special putty that's a mixture of uh, wood glue and the fine sawdust that's come off of this thing. Works pretty well because once it's uh, done, you, you can barely see it. And you can see I've got a few boards that I've cut here, and, and I've uh, sanded off the tops of these posts. I still have to put the middle board in down on the backrest and uh, back leg on both sides, but there's plenty of time to do that. Now, if you look up here, you can see I've got uh, right here one board installed, and the, the uh, the uh, the ar the shoulder or whatever you call it the side arm the shoulder uh, resting on top of it and I've got it sanded down here so that it the fit is really tight really good and then uh, I've got it clamped down here just holding it in place at the moment and I don't know if you can see that but I've traced an outline on there and I'm going to cut out with the saw and. So that's basically how we're going to put this on. Cut this, cut this all out, and sand it off, and uh, get it all smoothed up and everything, and and, and bolted in place. You can see some of this sawdust. Let me show you. You can see I've put some of it here, and it's not all sanded off yet. But uh, you can see right here. Here's a, this was a big crack right here, and as you can see, uh, see that looks much better. It's the same color as the wood, practically. Instead of a crack there, it's filled in nicely so that when we get it sanded and uh, varnished, uh, it should look really nice. It should look really nice. Well, anyway, so now what we're working on is getting the armrests done. That's what you call these things, armrests. Getting the armrests done, and then we're going to put boards like this all the way across here. One, two, three, so or something like that, so that this will this will be the inside of the couch. Do that on both sides and then get these all matched up. I've got to sand some down in here so that this board will tip back a little bit and be flush right there and flush right here. As you can see it's sticking out just a little bit right here and we can't have that and we can't just force it over because then it'll have a crack on the bottom there. But anyway, there it is. It's looking pretty good. Someone at work, I showed them a picture, they said it looked like a futon. And I'm not sure what a futon, I wasn't sure what that was, so I looked it up. And it's a folding bed where, say, this part right here just folds down and you have a bed. I suppose that's how they look, I guess. But anyway, there's where we are right now. And uh, it's coming along quite nicely, I think. I ordered the material yesterday, and that ought to show up here pretty soon. And then we're going to start... Uh, doing the cushions. Okay, another update. Here's where we are today. Let me back off here so you can see the full size. You can see we've got quite a bit of progress done here. And uh, one thing I want to point out here is the uh, armrest. As you can see, it's in place now. And we have sanded off the edge pretty well. Sanded off those edges pretty well. And you can see it's got kind of a smooth roundedness to it. Now that's the initial sanding and we've also got the boards on the inside installed. They have been sanded down roughly. A fine sanding is still needed 
But as you can see, it's installed and uh, everything's looking pretty good. And it's got a nice round look to it and it's pretty solid. And it's uh, screwed here, screwed down here and glued here. And what we're going to do is try to cover this up with one piece of inlay. And see how that looks. Now you can see the back here, we've also sanded this off. If you remember last time, this looked pretty rough. But you can see this has all been rounded off and uh, sanded uh, pretty smooth. And we did that with a... Uh, with a disc sander and then finishing it off with a uh, another uh, palm sander it's working pretty good you can see how it's looking quite good okay we're just about finished with the woodwork now thought I'd show you how we did last time I was showing you how uh, the screw holes in here when I try to cover them up with uh, an inlay and I've done that you can see it's it's a piece of uh, of uh, oak that I bought and then I cut it and I I cut this groove here with a router and then I cut this oak with a saw a table saw and then I shaved it down on one side here so it would fit and then I had to do a little cutting <clears throat> made a mistake there you can see this little extra piece I put in and that was the first side I did. The other side here, after I've had a little experience, didn't make any mistakes on. And you can see that one's done a little bit better. But uh, that's a lot better than uh, this nail sticking up, I think. Anyway, the sanding is all done, and uh, and uh, all of the woodwork, the the holes in the bottom, if you remember I was telling you about having to putty those up and you can see they're all puttied and sanded off and the back side too and then uh, one of the last things I did was I carved out me and Charlene's initials and we're gonna that still needs to be uh, sanded down and trued up because you can see it's not quite symmetrical so I've got to sand one side down, but we're going to put that on top and uh, kind of personalize the couch a little bit. So uh, put that on there. But anyway, it's done now, uh, except for the little logo on the top and some sanding needs to be done there. And the next stage is uh, staining it and varnishing it. We've got it all sanded everywhere. I don't know if you can see very well with the lighting, but it's all smooth. There's no rough joints. One thing I might show you is, uh, if you remember last time, you could see some marks in here, I think, from uh, the, the, uh, s the disc sander. You can see right now, it's smooth. There's no, uh, no disc sanding marks. And I believe this is the side that actually had a lot of those disc marks. But as you can see right here, it's smooth. These uh, extra pieces of wood that I put on, they're actually smooth. So that'll be an interesting effect once the stain is put on. But everything is smooth, everything is uh, sanded, everything's ready to go. There is one thing that I uh, see that I should have done that I didn't. You see that back leg? how it comes down. The couch is still stable but it, it very easily if you get in it, it'll push, it'll lean that way, see? And right about there is it's balanced. Well, that's not real good. What you want to have is you want to have the center of gravity a little bit more toward the front of the couch. And the way to do that is you take the back leg and you bow it out just a little bit. I noticed that a lot of couches are like that. Now I could have cut this this uh, piece I made, these laminated pieces, and I could have actually done that quite easily. You know, I have that uh, the back the back piece go down and then hook on to the to the uh, frame right there, and then from there tilt back a little bit instead of coming straight down like it is. Could have done that, and I should have done that. But well, next time. We've got it all uh, stained and polyurethane. I can probably use a couple more coats on it. I hope that sunshine isn't 
making it difficult to photograph here. But anyway, this is uh, kind of what it is now, and I think we're all finished. And I think it turned out rather well, actually. Uh, you can see our little logo in the back there on the top. That worked out pretty well, too. And as we go this way, you can see how the, uh, how the uh, finish shines pretty good. Let's go take it from this side. And this is what we got from this side, the sun's shining on it. I hope that doesn't affect it too much. But there it is. And right now what we're working on is putting the, getting the cushions together. It's finished now, completely finished. And as you can see, I've got some cushions on it. I made them myself. And uh, I think perhaps if I'd had them professionally done, they might look a little better, but... You know, for a first-time amateur, having to make those like that, I don't think they're too bad. They're actually not too bad at all. Anyway, that's a nice couch. Well, once we got it in the house, it turns out my wife wasn't too crazy about the cushions I made. And uh, so we ordered some professionally made cushions. So here's how it looked, sitting in front of our living room window. Turned out rather well, I think. But the cushions had to go, so they ended up here in the storage room all alone.